Joseph, favored son of Israel. Grow to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the Law and the Prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! Joseph! Greetings, Bible nerds. It is I, Artsy Bible Nerd. When last we left, page 15, we were drawing sheep. A whole lot of sheep. A whole flock of sheep. Uh, this is the background pencils that's going to go in the background of uh, Joseph's head and shoulders. And there's Israel's head and shoulders. We need more sheep behind him. And then, as soon as we're done with that panel, we're going to copy and paste into the other two panels. So, so we're winding down almost to the end of this book, the end of this page, rather. <laughs> if I wish, I just wish we were at the end of this book. But after this book, I'll be writing another book. I have other ideas for other books. What have I gotten myself into? All right, so let's keep making some sheep. Beep, beep, I'm sheep. Beep, beep, I'm sheep. I sang that song last time. I'm pretty sure I've sung that song before. All right, so this area is a little lacking in... What do you call a group of sheep? A flock? I feel like that there needs to be some other kind of name for sheep, like beef, like cattle, like like swine, like uh, you call pigs swine, you call cows cattle, you call mutton. That's when it's on your table. Mutton is when it's on your table. All right, so. I'm looking at my reference, looking for the sheep that I haven't drawn yet. Which sheep have I not drawn yet? Let's get the right tool. And we're drawing. Did some shopping today, did some, you know when you, you think you've done all the shopping on the Amazon and then you, then you realize, oh no, I don't have Christmas cards. I don't have, you know, X, Y, Z. So I got some of the X, Y, Z today. Actually, I got the X and the Y. 
There's one more Z that I have to pick up. There's one more Z. I'm gonna make it by hand. That may be me being overzealous. I don't know why I must make things by hand in, for the holidays. You gotta mean something. You, it shows how special you are when I make something by hand. But I've learned not too long ago that uh, making things by hand is not cheaper than buying it from a big box store. I could have just bought... I forget what it was that I was making by hand. I'm often a hand maker. A crafter. All right, so we're going to make this look fuzzy. Give that some texture. Make it look fuzzy on this side. All right, so I got some scriptures they want to share. I got a topic that I would like to share. I want to talk about hope. Something that is very, very necessary. Very, very necessary. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Nope, never. Nope, that's another thing I can't sing on stream. Those algorithm bucks are going to... I got these messages. I, I get these things going on with uh, my videos. I try to put them up on on YouTube and uh, I can't do that because... Well, I'm not sure what that reason is, but uh, I do get muted streams because they think that I've played such and such a song and then I go to see what the, the grievance is. I'm like, I don't even have that song in my playlist. How can you say that I've played such and such a song? So I said, no, I did not play that song. And there's another issue, uh, currently, when I try to upload videos from Twitch to YouTube, export them, uh, they're not exporting. They're not acting the way they're supposed to be acting. So, I've read that it's possibly because uh, I'm not using, uh, my browser is not up to date enough, and which it is, or possibly... I haven't signed in and verified my YouTube account, which I have. Uh, let's see. I tried two different machines. I tried hardware. I tried uh, Wi-Fi. So I've come to the conclusion it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I thought they fixed it.
So. But I want to talk about hope. Uh, there are some really dark, dark books of the Bible where uh, the Israelites have let God down and God says, you know what? I'm taking my throne away from your temple. Or uh, what else? Uh, you are going to be The Babylonians are coming, and you are going to be uh, subjugated to them. Or what else? Uh, the flood, right? But there's always a sliver of hope in every single book of the Bible. You may have to look harder in some books than others, but there's always a sliver of hope in every single book of the Bible. So Ruth 1, verse 12 says, Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought... Even if I thought... There was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and then gave birth to sons. So that is uh, Ruth's mother-in-law telling her not to stay with her uh, because she has become bitter uh, because of the, the famine and she has no more sons left and her husband is gone and, uh, you know, you're... You, Ruth, have no hope for a family. Even if I did give birth to a son, why are you staying with me? Uh, so, Ruth was without hope. Excuse me, uh, Naomi, Ruth's mother-in-law, was without hope. And... I have, I can relate. For those of you who have been following along, I have lost three jobs in the last two years. The first job that I lost, I was thinking of leaving. I was make, taking my good old time with leaving. Then th that, you know... The, uh, what you call it, happened. The pandemic happened. So I said, well, maybe I'll... I'll put off my, my plans to leave this job, because... Now would be a really bad time to lose my job. So in February of 2021, uh, lo and behold, I lost my job because of reasons. Because I clicked the wrong button. And then I tried to plead my case. Hey, uh, I clicked the wrong button. I, I know that you said the, first, the next person who clicks this wrong button will be fired. Just letting you know uh, it was an accident. I did not mean to do it. So the next day I got... A phone call stating that I had been terminated. I said, no problem. I work in IT. I'll just get another job. I've been able to get jobs before. Let's see, this head. Let's get this head. Uh, so, long story short, there have been other jobs that uh, I did get a job after that, and then I did not. These were temp positions. Uh, apparently, they did not 
were not happy with the work that I've done for them. Even though I've done everything I know how to do for the company, uh, they were still looking for somebody with more expertise. So right now, uh, if you're interested in praying for me, f please feel free to pray uh, that I get uh, the job with the company that I re just recently interviewed with. That is on the top of my list. That, that job, that entity is on the top of my list for the job that I really want. But it gives me hope, right? Uh, the, the day that I lost my job, I was without hope. Could not say that I actually had hope, but... Uh, so it took some time to, to grieve. I took some... Uh, I don't know the, all the steps to the grieving process. Seven steps of grief. And I thought I would be better at the seven steps. I thought I would be, you know, since after losing your third job, I thought I would be better at you know, getting past those steps and moving on. No, <laughs> that does not seem to be the case. In case you're wondering, I'm doing a, uh, a study on how long it takes you to get past those seven steps. The more stuff that happens to you does not necessarily make you better at getting past those steps. As a matter of fact, uh, I think it even made me get go through the steps even slower. So at the same time, uh, I saw I saw Wakanda Forever, and uh, how much should I give away? But uh, there's a character who we know that I think it's evident from the trailer that uh, they are mourning T'Challa's death, right? And uh, there's a character who does not want to go through the session steps of grief. She doesn't want to uh, come to the the uh, realization that he is dead, and uh, she suffers psychologically because of that. Maybe not psychologically, but uh, not like she's crazy. But she uh, she is not able to move on until she actually moves on not able to carry on with her life until she actually comes to terms with T'Challa's death. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because I know that some of you have still not seen it. Shame on you. It is a better movie than the first Black Panther movie. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say, because we're going to move on. 
Um, so Naomi was at was without hope. And also Lamentations 325. If there's ever a book that you thought you would never find hope, uh, Lamentations is just like the name is called. It's a lament. Not only just one lam lament, it's a plural lamentations. Uh, so sadness upon sadness upon sadness. Meaningless, meaningless. Uh, but in Lam Lamentations 3, 25, it says, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. To the one who seeks him. The Lord is good to those who hope in him. To the one who seeks him. True hope comes from God. From knowing that this life is not final. If your hope is not in God, then uh, do everything you can in order to rectify that. Pray, read, uh, ask somebody to help you with getting to know God. Preferably someone who is already praying and reading. It's pre preferably someone who uh, does go to church and prays and reads and, uh, you know, you can see it in, in their actions. Not just somebody who thinks about praying, thinks about reading, thinks about going to church, thinks about these things, but someone who can see it in their actions. That's what true faith is. Um... I was just listening to, uh, not Flat Cap. I did listen to him in the morning, but uh, earlier today was uh, Christian Ninja. And he was talking about uh, your eternal life. Uh, God doesn't care so much about our physical life as much as our spiritual life, because guess which one is going to last longer? This earth is but... A memory. It will be gone. I don't know when. I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow or three million years from now. But I guarantee you, the earth is going to be dust sometime in the future. And even sooner than that, most likely, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> uh... Each of us have approximately 100 years, maybe 120 years, but uh, soon after that, whatever you've done, whatever you've made, uh, is nothing compared to what the God that you believed in. Your relationship with God, rather. So, I implore you, I plead with you, Please have a relationship with God. A good relationship with God. Anybody can have a relationship with God. But can you have a good relationship with God? He made all of us, cares for all of us, So, next scripture. For I, This is the bumper sticker verse. Everybody knows this one. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So, this was from Jeremiah. Oh, sorry. 
I try not to yell on stream. Uh, so that was from Jeremiah. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So that was, that's Jeremiah 29. There are 28 chapters that come before this uh, and 10 verses that come before this that are talking about how uh, they're going to be uh, taken off to Babylon. And, and it's all because they had not lived up to their promise, the covenant that they, they made with God. But he said, don't worry, eventually you will find yourself coming to the end of that. So in chapter 29, it says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So we have to remember who that was written to when we uh, remember that verse, when we think of that verse. But he loved the the Israel, the Israelites. He loves all of us, not not just the Israelites. He loves the the, the believing the believer and the non believer. But he wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us. Uh, Romans 15, for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught by the scriptures, excuse me, for the, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. So I've just recently learned there, there's something that I have always thought of uh, Isaiah 53, which it is true. It is true that uh, Jesus came in order to fulfill the law. And Jesus, uh, the, the sentence that all of the Bible leads to Jesus is not in is is correct but if you tell that to a Jew who has been reading their Jewish Bible since they were a child uh, they are going to be insulted because uh, everything that they learned previous to Jesus had meaning to them. They had uh, a reason for uh, Isaiah 53 being written. And it was not only to one one man, like uh, Jesus. To them, he was talking about a struggle. He was talking about the, uh, the whole nation of Israel. When it says he... Uh, he was like a lamb taken to the slaughter. He had, oh, where's Isaiah 53? Show me Isaiah 53. Uh, let's see. 
He was opposed and afflicted. He did not open his mouth. He was like a lamb led to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his sh- its shewers was is silent. So he did not open his mouth. So the ancient Israelite would have been thinking that that was talking about Israel itself instead of talking about... Oops, that's the wrong button. Instead of talking about uh, Jesus, they would have had... Uh, the understanding that was talking about Israel, the nation. So, I'm glad I learned that before I published this book, because that's the whole reason that I, partly the whole reason that I am writing this book is to reach out to people who do not know Jesus. Reach out to people who know uh the Old Testament, but are not aware of the the ties from the New Testament to the new from the Old Testament to the New Testament. So that's it. That's all the scriptures. That's all the, that's all I'm going to read to you today. I think I'm going to, this is going to be Alright, I know I just started, but I'm going to be back with hydration. One moment, please. I have returned. Returned, I have. Okay. Where was I? So easy to lose track among all these heads and backs and noses and horns and oh my. I think I'm going to erase this part. This doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. It's too, too mechanical. This is the head. 
of an animal right there. Where's the ear? Is there an ear? Let's make a little bigger, a little bigger pencil. All right, now what? What's next? Looking, 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 looking. I've learned my lesson not to sing the song that this reminds me of, because you know what? That's gonna get me a strike. It reminds me of a Michael Jackson song, sung when he was a wee child. Covered by, a Mar by Mariah Carey, much later. I just learned that Mariah Carey tried to copyright the term the Christmas Queen. She can legally not be called the Christmas Queen because the court said, nope, no, <laughs> we're not gonna let you call yourself the Christmas Queen. The Queen of Christmas. All hail the Queen of Christmas. All right, we're gonna do another head. I have so decided. We're gonna do another head.
So this week, this coming week, things are gonna, my schedule is gonna change. I know my schedule is always changing because my life is always changing. I'm either employed or not employed. Things are always up in the air. But this week is going to be a uh, holiday weekend. Holiday week and weekend. I think we need some horns here. Um, so my plan is... Uh, going to regular scheduled, regularly scheduled stream Monday. Uh, today's Tuesday, so Wednesday and Thursday will be a regular stream. But Friday, hold on to your hats. I'm going to try to stream for a whole six hours. So from the time my son goes to from the time my son goes to school to the time he comes back, that will be six hours of streaming. It will be the longest. I've still not done a six hour stream. So this will be the first time I've ever done a six hour stream. And why not? Why not on the Christmas, the last day of Christmas vacation, Christmas, uh, last day of school, but just before Christmas. And then, uh, that week from the 18th to the 25th, going to have uh, a bunch of silent streams because, uh, there's going to be a lot of background noise with the, the kids being home and all, so... All right, what am, what am I putting here? I'm gonna put this over here. That's what I'm gonna put. I think that should be smaller. And so it shall be. It has transformed into something smaller. My daughter is home. She's not doing any extracurricular activity. This is an event. Sorry for leaving you again, but I must say hi to my daughter. I'll be back.
and I'm back. All right, let's find out what is special about today. Today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Not only is it Tuesday, December 20th, okay. not only is it Tuesday, December 13th, 2022, it is also ice cream day. Oh yeah. Every day should be ice cream day. For those of you who are waiting for ice cream day to eat your ice cream, today is your day. We do have an abundance of ice cream in our refrigerator for some reason. Apparently somebody went shopping when they were hungry. So I had said ice cream. I had some mint chocolate chip ice cream. And uh, I have to say, I, I was a little disappointed because it did not do what I expected it to do for me. It did not quench my hunger. It did not satisfy my hunger. You ever eat something and then you re immediately regret it? I immediately regretted eating that ice cream. Not because it was bad. It wasn't horrible ice cream. It tasted exactly how it was supposed to taste. I just felt uh, unsatisfied by that ice cream. All right, let's do something over here in this corner. This goat. It's closer than the other goats.
Hmm. Alright. Let's try that one again. Try it again. Is that a glass harmonica I hear? So I was watching Jeopardy last night, like I do every night, and they asked the final Jeopardy question, and I knew it. Nobody else knew the answer to that question. I felt so smart. Keep in mind, there are many questions throughout the game that I did not know the answers to, and I was not actually a contestant on Jeopardy. In case you were wondering if I was actually playing Jeopardy in the studio. But for that one moment, nobody else knew the answer and I said, yes! I'm so smart. Do I get any money for that? No. Do I get any recognition? No. But my wife was there and she knew that I knew the answer. Sporting a mohawk there. The trick is not to make this sheep look like a horse. And it's me the E raiding with a party of two. Greetings, and it's me the E. And friend, how are you? How's it going? So what I'm doing right now, I am drawing some sheep. For those of you who have not met me, uh, Cabby for Jesus Christ. Well, hello, Cabby for JC. For those of you who speak uh, on the, the initial level for Jesus Christ, please to <laughs> please to meet you, Cabby for G for JC. Uh, my name is Bill Brooks. I'm a Christian uh, comic creator, and I'm creating a comic about Joseph. Uh, this is. Israel, his father, uh, telling his kids to pipe down and listen to his dream. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Uh, there's no text here, so I have to imagine what's going on. So, this shot is where he's saying, Are you serious that you, your mother and I will bow down to you as well? Well, I dreamt it. That's what I dreamt. And then Reuben says, You are not even the oldest. You are not the firstborn. And Israel keeps all this in, in his heart, and Joseph is looking off into the distance. 
to the next page, the next scene. Uh, nothing about that. It is me. Okay. Okay, good to know. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're uh, responding to, but uh, good to have you here. How was... How was the stream from And It's Me the E? Thank you, and uh, and it's me. Uh, so, not only do I have this one page, I can also show you. Pardon me. Please indulge me as I show you my trailer. Joseph, favored son of Israel. Nope. Road to a you. On the Let's third day after Jesus' crucifixion. Joseph, favored son of Israel. The road to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the Law and the Prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! So there you go. That is what I'm working on. Um, so this is a story of Joseph being told by Jesus as he's walking down the road with his two disciples uh, on the road to Emmaus. So there you go. So pleased to meet all, wow, seven viewers. Guts in the beautiful. Hello, how are you? How's it going? Let me give a shout out. Shout outs for everyone. You get a shout out. You get a shout out. Let's shout out. And it's me, the E. And it's me, the E is a 19, uh, it's a 90, 1980s, the, the 80s. Uh, was it 80s or the 90s? What, what were you spinning today? What discs were you spinning today? Ever consider publishing audio as well? Uh, I've considered it. <laughs> Do you know anybody who uh, can help me with that? I've tried. Uh, I've yeah. I have. I've written a Christmas book and written and drawn a Christmas book. And I have uh, the, the easy part was writing and, and drawing it. The hard part was when I. Uh, read all the parts for the video and uh, that's not something I really want to do for the rest of my life uh, it's really hard harder than I thought it would be, was going to be so uh, sometime on Sunday I will have to have my youngest daughter with she's wanting to be something creative okay cool uh, and, and you haven't tried to stop her and you've, you're encouraging to do this May, may the Lord be with you. May, may God be with you, the both of you. Uh, fun fact, I produced the audio version of the Striper biography. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, 
So I do have, uh, speaking of that uh, Christmas book, uh, audio book video, I was planning on uh, showing that, not this week, it's not close enough to Christmas yet, but uh, when do I want to do that? Sometime next week. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, that's what I should say. Make sure you're subscribed so you get all of my... Uh, every, oh, make sure you click that bell so you know what I'm going to stream so you're not going to miss that audiobook. I'm teasing. Yes. I'm going to tease. <laughs> I'm such a pro streamer. She loves the Lord and she's 16. Awesome. Spends church time with me. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, so, I'm making a decision right here, right here, right now, right in front of you. I'm going to select all, nope, wrong button, select all, and copy. No, undo. I said copy, and then paste, and now I'm going to drag it over. And look, a bigger flock of sheep. Just like magic. And now I have to do some creative erasing. Let's erase here. There are other tools besides the eraser. Let's... No, nope, undo. Undo that drag. And we're gonna... What's going on? Undo. Uh, I have to deselect first, that's the problem. Okay, now use the lasso tool. And I'm gonna go from corner to corner. And I'm gonna cut, boom, all gone. Grand Rapids, Michigan, awesome. Is it snowing there? When is it not snowing there? That's what I should probably ask if it is not snowing there. Uh, now, is there, is there snow on the ground? I know snow is coming. Snow is coming for most of the country. Green grass here, I feel like it's getting rooked. I'm getting rooked on winter. I'm sorry, I'm not down with the lingo. Robbed. Is that a typo? Robbed. There we go. <laughs> Getting robbed on winter. Well, just wait. Just you wait until a few days from now, I think. All right, so now, now, he said. Let's do some creative erasing from this layer. All right, let's see. Oh, thank you for Cabby. Usually my awesome girlfriend is with me in the stream, but she... 
but she's shopping. Ah, you know, it is Christmas. It is almost Christmas, so you better let her shop because she's most likely getting something for you, hopefully. All right, let's find out what is special about today. It is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Not only is it December 13th, 2022, it is also Ice Cream Day. Not only is it Ice Cream Day, it is also Cocoa Day. Well, isn't that a nice mix? Ice Cream Day along with Cocoa Day. Isn't that a coincidence? A little bit too coincidental if you ask me. I think the ice cream people and the cocoa people got together and say, all right, let's create a day together. All right, let's see what happens when I turn off the blue color. And, nope, that's not what I want. Here we go. Let's erase this black line. All right, I think we're ready to go to ink, people. Let's start inking. All right, we're gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna turn everything back to blue. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm gonna erase everything that's black over here. Let's use this tool instead. So earlier I was talking about hope. Oh, wait, Cabby is talking. Rather she saved her money to come to Michigan. Oh, she's not shopping in Michigan, is she? Uh, she's in Washington state, that is far from Michigan. Uh, that would be the best part, the best present. Aw. I don't want a lot for Christmas. Where have I heard that before? Recently, about a thousand times. Uh, so earlier I was talking about hope. Romans 15 says, For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. The endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. I'm convinced that I might have the world's best girlfriend. Aww. And the best teenager. Aww. Don't let my daughter hear that. Uh, let's make a new layer. That's what we need to do is make a new layer. All right. And now we are inking. <laughs> I'll take her on. Uh, I think I might have something to say about that. I just met you, but I will fight you if you attack my daughter. Uh, my daughter is 17. She's home. She's 
it was a shock to me that when I heard the door open and I heard her come home, I didn't know that she actually came home this early because she's usually at some extracurricular. I was like, uh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing home? You don't have an extracurricular? You don't have band? She's usually in band or in chorus or in some kind of... Uh, she's the lead in the musical this year. Susical. I'm in the Eastern time zone. So this is the time that she's supposed to be home. But rarely is she actually home at this time. So, uh, cabby, I'm assuming that you are a cab driver, is that correct? Call me a mind reader. Or call me a chat reader. I'm able to read the chat, read your name, figure out that you're a, a cab driver. Beware, my best comment is biased. <laughs> So do you ever watch the show Taxi from the 70s? Hello, ukulele for worship. How are you? So the reason I ask about Taxi is because uh, my 12-year-old my son... Who has Down syndrome, uh, every single day that he wakes up must recount the, the what does a yellow light mean skit. Starting with psst, dad, what does a yellow light mean? Slow down. Okay. What? Does a yellow light mean? Slow down. Okay. What does a yellow light me don't have a TV apparently you have a computer ukulele for worship thank you very much for the I got something in the mail I got a card and I got I got a card I was expecting and also a card I was not expecting uh, thank you so much Tis the season to get things you're not expecting. Don't you love people with accurate screen names like Ukulele for Worship, Cabby, Cabby for JC, Artsy Bible Nerd? It's a description. You don't have to wonder what these people actually do. If you've won any of my giveaways or postcard redeems, you end up with a Christmas card list. Thank you very much.
Thanks to you and your husband. Oh, I'm sorry. I should shout. I should give ukulele a shout out. Ukulele for worship uh, is exactly as it sounds. Uh, she plays ukulele. She wor plays worship songs on her ukulele early in the morning. Seven o'clock Eastern, I think. What time does it start? I'll tell you what time I usually tune in. It's 7 o'clock Eastern. I'm gonna drop this down, it's a little too much, a little too big. That eraser is a little too big. Can't believe it's 327 already. I heard the door open again. It's another one of my children chilling. Do it this way instead. Yeah. Uh, yep, let's bring that down to number 12. All right, uh, I'm gonna stop here momentarily. I will be back. Uh, let's show you another video. Let's play a different video. All right, so last week I showed you this. I showed you the beginning of Joseph, favored son of Israel. And just want to show you some of the character development that, we, that I've been working on. Uh, this is Joseph, front view, quarter, three-quarter view, rather, and that's the side view. I don't find the side view very helpful in the interior pages, but it helps me to figure out this, and this will be useful, and this will be useful as well, and these two. So next, this is Joseph's father, Israel. Israel was very young, excuse me, <laughs> why did I say young? Israel was very old when he had, when he gave birth to Joseph. Uh, notice that his name is jo Jacob and Israel. You can that down so you can read it. Jo Jacob, this is his birth name, and he was renamed Israel after he uh, wrestled with uh, versus what the angel of the Lord. So, get it? The play on words. The favored son of Israel is the man Israel. So, this is the front view, three quarter view, side profile view, looking up, looking all the way up in anguish and looking down. So, this is very helpful. Also, uh, I didn't like how that worked out, but this is Jesus. We need to have him walking down the, the road of Emmaus. He's not gonna be doing a lot of looking down. He's gonna be doing, doing a lot of looking up. I do need this view for the, the crucifixion scene. This is how he's gonna be dressed as well. I need to get some clothes on Joseph as well. Gonna work on that this week. Next, this is Cleopas. 
So Cleopas is the the first, the, the only named disciple on the road to Emmaus. The other disciple is not named. Uh, Cleopas was a big deal. He was a rich man. He was probably in his, I'm guessing he's in his uh, middle age, 50s or 60s. Uh, he, uh, we know that Cleopas was a rich man because uh, we know that his wife, Mary, All right, here I am. Sorry to interrupt that very informative video. That guy likes to drone on and on. All of the, the talking about himself and his drawings. All right, let's see what else is going on today. Today is not only Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. Not only is it ice cream day, not only is it Cocoa Day, not only is it... Oh, it is also called Day of the Horse. I've heard of Year of the Horse. I've not heard of Day of the Horse. Year, it is Day of the Horse. Whose horse? Which horse is it the day of? Is it just one horse's birthday or something? I don't get it. Are there any equestrians here? If you have a horse, today is your day to ride it. Find it fascinating that you're so organized in such a creative space. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would find that fascinating as well. <laughs> uh... Thank you. I'll, I'll try to take the compliment instead of, uh, instead of putting myself down. I have too many, I have so many, here's the issue. I have ideas that I can't do all at once, so I have to write them down and, uh, Sometimes those ideas actually come to fruition. A lot of times I have to put them on the back burner. You know, there's a lot of ideas that are never going to be done because I never have the amount of time for all the ideas that I have. If I had, maybe if I had a staff that I could outsource these ideas and maybe if I could find the thing that I wrote down my ideas, maybe then some of these will actually get done. Um, Cabby says, I usually join in stream with my awesome girlfriend, 987 Quartz, but she's shopping. She lives in Washington State for now. Cabby's uh, struggled with self-degradation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it goes hand in hand with uh, especially creative people like to talk about their work and they don't want to s sound like they're being too uh, self-grandizing that's what I hear I mean that that's other people, I'm sure other people have that problem, but I'm just assuming, I'm just, uh, you know. I'm just postulating here. Putting them all where you can find them makes it worse. <laughs> then you see how many you didn't get <laughs> around to doing um i'm not yeah that doesn't break my heart but when i finally i really do believe that god gave me this idea this idea was not uh just from me the uh the emmaus road idea was definitely from god 
because it, it was, it's like a, a lightning bolt struck me. And I remember sitting at, at dinner, waiting to food, for food to come onto the table, and I was thinking, how do I explain the, these things that I'm learning about typography, typology? How do I explain how Jesus is pointed to throughout the, the Old Testament? Who, what biblical character would, I, would understand that? And who would he be explaining it to? It was like, <laughs> huge gasp. <coughs> it would be Jesus. <laughs> On the road to Emmaus. That's exactly where it would be. Then I had to look up whether or not it had been done before. And yes, it has been done before, but even if your idea has been done before, it has not been done the way you want to do your idea. You know, even though biblical uh, comics have been done before, they don't have my... They don't have the style that I have. I used to... I used to think, oh, I can't possibly look at the Action Bible. I can't possibly uh, look at these other famous Bible comics because I don't want to steal their style. <laughs> Even if I tried to steal their style, uh, it would still not look like theirs. Even if I... Even if I try, when I try to uh, model my my art style like somebody else, it still looks like it was drawn by me. Uh, putting them uh, self abuse. Cabby says self abuse. You and me are somewhat kindred spirit. Yeah, I do like to psychologically abuse myself as a hobby, one of my other hobbies. It doesn't have to be completely new and original to be valuable. Amen. That's because you have your own. Yeah, I do have my... Everybody has their own spin on... on the story, on how to tell the story. Not that... Not to say that I'm uh, I, I am taking liberties with the Bible and some people might have a problem with that and I apologize. I'm not trying to you know take away from the Bible. I'm not trying to And I am going to put a disclaimer at the beginning of the book saying, uh, this is a fictional, uh, historical fiction, biblical historical fiction account of the Bible. Please feel free to read your actual Bible in order to see how it actually went in the narrative. But, uh, the reason I do feel like I need to add more stories because the Bible is uh, writ is written in a certain way that it begs you to add what else happened in the story. It's not it's not meant to be a movie. It's not meant to be security guard footage, as they say on Bible Project. It's not meant to be an actual account of what actually happened. It's meant to be, uh, it's meant to make you think about how it could have happened. So this is my take on how it could have happened. And then when I get to see God, he will tell me, Duh, it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen how most people thought it happened.
Um, did I ever hear of Salem Kurban? Um, who is Salem Kurban? Please do tell. He wrote 666 and 1,000. Uh, no, I don't know those books. Are those books, I'm assuming? fantasy. Okay. So I've never heard of prophetic fantasy. What what does that mean? I I can take a guess of what it means. Like um similar to similar to I'm not going to guess. Based on Revelation of Daniel. Okay, wrote on how that part of the Bible might play out. Okay. That's what I thought. That was something similar to what I thought you were going to say. So, like, the... Uh, I keep trying to say the Chosen. The Chosen is something different. The, uh... Why can't I think of it? It was a movie with Kirk Cameron. Somebody help me. Help me. What am I trying to think of? Oh, that looks like a yak. What's a yak doing in there with a sheep? I'm sorry, Mr. Yak. Your wool is too woolly. Maybe it's because of the horns. The horns are too long. Took a call from dispatch. Left behind. Thank you, and it's me, the E. So is it something like left behind? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, left Behind. Left Behind is a take on Revelation. Written before 1970. Okay. There's a new Left Behind movie. Sequel coming out. A sequel? Didn't the Earth already end? How can you have a sequel to Left Behind? Uh, <laughs> I've not seen the Left Behind series. Uh, okay, let's see what else is going on today. Let's find out what else is special about today. 
Not only is today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2022, it is also Ice Cream Day. Not only is it Ice Cream Day, it is Cocoa Day. Not only is it Cocoa Day, it is the Day of the Horse. Not only is it the Day of the Horse, it is the National Guard birthday. Happy birthday, National Guard. It takes 12 books for at least... Smiley face. Uh, it takes 12 books for that. Oh, you're thinking Left Behind is based on 66 and 1,000. Oh, okay. That's probably true. Which is probably based on the Bible. Um, oh, also, I have to ask all of you, please... Uh, I'm trying to build up my Instagram account. Those of you who are here, uh, please feel free to go to my Instagram account and uh, leave some likes. Uh, we have to feed the algorithm. Uh, let's see. I should have made a command. Nope. Uh... Really? Social does not exist. Bother. Bother. All right, I'm just gonna have to find my Instagram account and paste it like the old fashioned days. Here we go. We're getting there. We're almost there. Almost there. And boom. If you wouldn't mind, please click on that link and leave some likes so we can feed the algorithm. The algorithm must be fed. A hungry algorithm is an unhappy algorithm. You heard that lie. Heard what lie? What lie was told when I was gone looking for that link? Uh, the alias? I might have to look into that. Is there any way I can get that on audio? Uh, let's make sure that I name this layer before I forget what it is. Ukulele is heading out. Work is over. <laughs> Thank you for loving the sheep. Thank you for the card. 
Have a good day, ukulele. So, as I was saying earlier, um, this week, this week of Christmas, is going to be, uh, I'm going to some, change some things up. I'm going to try to do a six hour stream on Friday, because I'll be able to, with the kids in school, uh, for as long as they're in school, I will be streaming, hopefully for six hours. That's the longest I've ever streamed. Tune in to see if I pass out. And then I'm not gonna make any, for the, the week of Christmas, I'm not gonna make any, any promises. I will stream as much as I possibly can. But those will be silent streams. Those will be, audio will be turned off. While there will be mirth and merriment and screaming from small children in the background. There's only so much mirth and merriment that, that people can handle. Do I need to get you to put you in my cab and take you to the hospital? <laughs> if you want to come to Pennsylvania, I think I can call somebody closer who get her sooner. Wow, it's 3.54? How, how, what, how does these things happen? I just sat down to draw and do some chatting with some friends and the time is gone. All right, so I'm going to put today's theme scripture. I'm going to try to do some theme scriptures. We'll see how the, it's kind of hard to talk about the Bible and draw and chat at the same time, but I think it's worth trying. Oh. Uh, the whole chapter... Romans 15 is full of hope. There's hope throughout the entire chapter. Uh, but the first verse, <coughs> uh, first vor, rather, says, For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures that we might have hope. So feel free to read the rest of that whole entire chapter 15. 
So, um, uh, let's find somebody to raid. Let's raid to someone. Who is available to raid right the heck now? Let's find out. Let's find out. Some of these people don't accept raids. All right, how about Mr. Master Wong? Let's go there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mr. Master Wong is a Christian game streamer. Let's see what he is playing. Looks like he is playing Fortnite as usual. All right, feel free to copy raid number two and paste it into the chat. While we raid, we're gonna set up the raid to Mr. Master Wong. All right, let's find out who's with me. All right, we got five viewers who are ready to raid. All right, thank you very much for being here today. I'll be here tomorrow, uh, two o'clock to four o'clock, uh, two to four Eastern. And until then, oh, hello, Sunshine S Games. Come along with us to the raid. We're raiding Mr. Master Wong. I, I, don't, I think you didn't make it. <laughs> Okay, very good. All right, here we go. Rating now. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, until tomorrow, may the Lord be with you. Peace. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on here. <laughs> Christian Ninja's rating with a party of 17. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold the phone. <laughs> Shoo! Good thing I didn't push that raid button before all these people came in. Hi, Christian Ninja, how are you? How was your stream? Welcome, raiders. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I haven't counted the sheep because I didn't want to fall asleep during the stream. But um, pshh. Uh, so, yes, you raided into a raid. You almost raided into a raid. I was about to push the button, and then I saw 17 people come in, so I said, hold the phone. <laughs> hold that raid. Uh, so, my name is Artsy Bible Nerd. I am a Christian comic creator. I'm currently creating a comic about Joseph. Uh, I have a video I'd like you to see. Hold on, please. Hold please, this is very important to me. Joseph, favored son of Israel. The road to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus' crucifixion, 
two of his disciples were going to the village of Emmaus. While they walked and questioned each other, Jesus himself came near and walked with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. What are we going to do now? I thought he was the one. Why are you walking and talking so sadly? Don't you know the things that have happened recently in Jerusalem? What things? The things concerning the prophet, Jesus the Nazarene. The priests and our rulers crucified him. But we were hoping that he would redeem Israel. And now it is the third day since these things happened. Also, some of the women from our group said that he was alive. <laughs> Foolish people. Didn't the prophets write that the Son of Man had to suffer these things in order to enter into his glory? Beginning from the law and the prophets, he explained to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. This is just one of the stories Jesus could have told. Consider the story of... Joseph! So there you go. There you go. Uh, so this is page 15 that I'm currently working on. This is Israel saying, will you, uh, will, will I and your mother bow down to you? And he says, well, that's not, that's what I dreamt. And Reuben gets in his face and says, you are not even the firstborn. And then uh, Israel looks uh uh, the scripture says that he uh, saves all these things in his heart. And that's Joseph looking off into the distance into the next scene. So there you go. So, and we're working on background sheep as you rate it in. So now, let's take this raid where it was about to go. We were about to go see Mr. Master Wong. Let's see if he's still streaming. Yes, he is still streaming. Mr. Master Wong. Oh, before we do that, Please copy and paste my raid message. Miss Thunder TV, first time chatter. Hello. <laughs> wow. Maybe I should have made it a longer stream today. Every time I try to, to leave, someone else joins in. So uh, I will be back here tomorrow, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to raid Mr. Master Wong now. Pleased to meet you, Miss Thunder. We are starting now. Until tomorrow, may the Lord be with you. Peace.